So what is left to do now that the Constitution has been passed? The difficult uh, process of implementing the new Constitution. Uh, there are very many prongs that need to be addressed in implementing and bringing to reality the new Constitution. Uh, the new Constitution is to a significant extent self-executing. It establishes a commission that will be responsible for its implementation. It also establishes timelines within which implementation of aspects of the constitution through the enactment of legislation must be achieved. It also mandates uh, that in, in default of approval by the, by the legislature of uh, the pieces of legislation uh, to implement the new constitution, then the legislature can, on application to the uh, High Court, be uh, dissolved and a new election uh, can be held. So the, the new constitution very much uh, also anticipates that there will be resistance to its own implementation and uh, establishes mechanisms, first of all, for determining whether or not default has happened and also mandates uh, action in the event of such default. What do you think this new constitution, once all the implementing pieces have been put into place, will mean for Kenya? I think the new constitution, um, th there are very many benefits that it, it can bring. At the political level, it's, um, it changes the executive very, very radically. Uh, you will recall that the country had uh, has had significant political violence around the presidential elections, uh, especially in 2007, uh, the mode of electing the new president under the new constitution almost uh, certainly assures that the next president will be a consensus president. Hopefully that will uh, mitigate the kind of violence that the country uh, has had in the past. Uh, the new constitution also recognizes the failures in the judiciary that have uh, led to the political instability in the country and therefore requires and mandates uh, a wholesale vetting of the judiciary. It also mandates and requires the establishment of uh, an additional tier to the Kenyan judiciary, that is the Supreme Court, uh, that will be the apex court uh, in, in addition to the existing uh, tiers which uh, constitute uh, this uh, Court of Appeal, the High Court and the subordinate courts. The new constitution has strong access to information um, uh, requirements than that is the uh, uh, that constitute what is regarded as a progressive bill of rights, which includes socio-economic rights in addition to the traditional uh, political and civil rights. Uh, the new constitution also has a, a definite and distinct gains for women whose inclusion in the legislative process in the political processes is uh, more guaranteed uh, in specific in very sp specific terms so the, the, the one would say that the new constitution if faithfully uh, implemented uh, can have demonstrable benefits for uh, large segments of the Kenyan public that were previously uh, excluded from the political processes